Hi, I'm Sandy Chavez, host of Harlan Fintech Live, and in this week's news roundup, Apple unveils new buy now pay later plan, Razor Fintech acquires E2Pay, and Backbase closes its first funding round. Apple revealed its pay later service announcement during their recent conference. The technology firm revealed plans following contrary relief that they'd take the Amazon route and choose a third party instead. Although this move should not come as a surprise, being that nearly a year ago, reports surfaced that Apple was working with key partners to develop its own buy now, pay later service. With this service, Apple Pay will provide the same flexibility that customers have come to expect from buy now, pay later services from competing providers. In particular, with Apple Pay Later, users in the U.S. will be able to take purchases for which they use Apple Pay and split them into four equal payments spread out over six weeks. Apple will charge 0% interest and won't add any fees of its own. Razor Fintech acquires digital payments firm from Indonesia, E2Pay Global Utama, otherwise known as E2Pay. Through this agreement, they're linking E2Pay's connection with more than 500 merchants that benefit from payment gateway, e-money, remittances, services in Indonesia with Razor's business-to-business platform. In addition, Razor is cashing in on over 500,000 registered users currently active on E2Pay's platform and services such as card schemes, internet banking, e-money, virtual accounts, offline points, and personal financing, among others. Backbase raised 120 million euros in its first funding round. It's believed the money will be used to continue investing in its technology, as well as expanding its team into more geographies. What's interesting is that the funds, which came from a single investor, Motive Partners, now values Backbase at 2.5 billion euros. The Amsterdam-based startup provides a platform that banks and others can use to better structure and leverage the data they have and to then use that to build more personalization. Which leads me to our selection of major funding rounds of the week. Juni, the Swedish e-commerce banking fintech, has raised a total of $206 million in new financing. Berlin-based Trade Republic, which claims to be Europe's largest savings platform, has announced a 250 million Series C extension. And Jakarta-based cryptocurrency trading platform Pinsu has raised $130 million in a Series B funding round. For this and much more, you can check out our website for the latest news, investments, insights, and research. Please visit hollandfintech.com news, where you can also subscribe to our weekly newsletter. And that's it for this week's News Roundup. I'm Sandy Chavez of Han Fintech Live, and thank you so much for watching.